Hi, it's Gabby again. I wanted to talk to you about something that I call the trifecta. And um, in my blog, no matter what article you're reading, it is pertaining to one part of the trifecta. So what the trifecta is, for me anyway, it's three components that you must have in order to be healthy, in order to achieve optimum health. And those three components are, number one, eating properly, number two, weight training, and number three, your cardio. So let me jump back up to number one. You know, everybody has a different idea of what eating properly is, but there are some pretty much main views that you really have to go by. Number one, you really have to cut out white foods and refined foods. And when I say cut out, I mean cut out. Now, I'm not saying that for the rest of your life you won't have something with sugar in it or you won't have a bag of chips, but if you're trying to lose weight and get healthy, that stuff impedes your process of losing weight. It, it gets in the way. And there's a lot of reasons for that. First of all, the sugar. You have something called an insulin surge when you have something that has sugar in it. And what that means is your pancreas spits out a bunch of insulin to counteract all the sugar in your bloodstream. So what happens when you have an insulin surge is your body is working very hard to get rid of that sugar in your body. So the reason that you have that crash after you eat sugar, that everybody talks about the crash, is because your body has been working so hard to fight the sugar that when it's done fighting it, your body's exhausted. And not only are you exhausted, but you're starving. So one of the real horrible trends that we get into is when we eat sugar and any white food, uh, we're talking potatoes, rice, pasta, obviously sugar, these are all foods that are processed very quickly and they don't give us many nutrients. For instance, if you eat a piece of white bread, while you're chewing that white bread, it's already digesting in your mouth. Before you even swallow it, your saliva is enough to start digesting that food. That gives you a real clear idea that by the time that food hits your belly, there's really not much left for you to be sustained on, which follows through with the getting hungry very quickly after you eat food like that. So same with refined foods. Refined foods are processed like sugar. So if you're eating anything like that, if it, if it has a crinkly wrapper or comes in a box, um, other than the brown rices and the brown pastas, it's probably something that you shouldn't be eating. So anything like your Doritos and your chips and, you know, Ritz crackers, anything like that, you got to stay away from. Secondly, with food, eating properly means a well-balanced diet. You can't cut out things. A lot of things today go by the low fat and the, the low calorie or only eat protein or, you know, don't eat any carbs at all. That's not how you do it. That's not how you eat. Your body is designed to need all of the nutrients. It needs carbs, it needs fat, and it needs calories. It needs protein and fiber. It needs everything. You have to give that to it, but you have to pick and choose the right things. For instance, your carbs, they have to be complex carbs, which means all your whole grains and your whole wheats. Those are the carbs that you eat. You don't cut them out, you still need them. And with fat, everybody wants to eat low fat. You just have to eat the right fat. You don't, you can't cut out fat. You have to eat fat to lose fat. You have to eat everything to lose fat. So, in this blog, I cover that a lot. In a lot of different articles, you're going to see these themes come up over and over again. So that's the first part of the trifecta is 
eating healthy and eating properly and eating enough. That's another thing that we always do wrong when we're trying to lose weight is we don't eat enough. That's going to spin your body into a whole new world of problems that I also go into and you don't want to mess with that. It messes up your body. Your body needs a certain amount of calories and a certain amount of nutrients to run properly and if you don't give it that it won't it won't lose weight it won't do it the right way if anything it's gonna let you drop a quick 20 25 pounds and then it's gonna stop and shut down so that's the first part of the trifecta the second part of the trifecta is weight training this is where I went wrong for many many years I never weight trained and I never even thought to I figured it was something that guys did to get buffed up and to be muscle heads and I never I never understood what weight training really was and how there's different forms of it. As a woman who weight trains and who doesn't want to be a bodybuilder and doesn't want to get all Arnold and buff, there's many ways to weight train so that you are sculpting and toning and building a really nice muscle definition. And not only are, should you do that if you want to look better and look healthy and look good, but more importantly, you need to build lean muscle mass. Lean muscle mass is what keeps your metabolism high and running and burning all day long. And lean muscle mass is also what helps your body burn calories, even at periods of rest, even while you're sleeping or sitting at your desk at work. Lean muscle mass is one of the key components of losing weight, getting healthy, staying fit, and maintaining your weight. Cardio alone cannot give you an optimum health and fitness level. It cannot. It will never. And that's one of the things that I really try to drive home in my blog is because I was very misled all of those years. I never understood the importance of muscle building and weight training. And it is vital, not only to men, but to women. It is a, a, a vital part of being healthy and being fit. And I go into many different ways of how you can weight train. And I even go as far as to give you actual workouts. And I will continue to do more of that throughout the blog history. But weight training is very important. And, you know, a lot of people don't want to get into that. They know nothing about it. And it kind of scares them because they don't know what they're doing but it's something that you need to do. And the third component of trifecta is the cardio. Everybody knows you have to do cardio. That's kind of like been around forever and it's been beat into our heads. And it is in fact vital. You need to do it. What cardio gives you is it gives you that short-term calorie burn. It's really what's burning the calories. Weight training doesn't necessarily build or excuse me, burn calories while you're doing it. It does a little bit. But that's more of a long-term thing as you build muscle. You guarantee yourself to increase your metabolism later on. Cardio, it does it right then and there. As you're doing it and you're sweating, you're burning mass amounts of calories, you're burning fat, and it also increases your endurance, makes you healthier. Your heart and your lungs benefit greatly from it. It's just an all, it's an all encompassing, um, my trifecta is an all encompassing way to look at health. And I know it's hard to think, well, I got to do all those things. Yeah, you do. You know, you got to eat right and you got to weight train and you got to move your ass. You got to sweat it out. You got to work hard to get what you want. It's not a quick fix. This, this time and this day and age, everybody wants a quick answer and it doesn't work. So check out my blog, read all the different ways to hit your trifecta and it will work. And I want, I encourage you for questions and comments. It was good talking to you again.